So, I've been trying to decide for a while if I want to start doing reading vlogs. And I think the answer is yes. So, let's try this. Let's see what happens. I just got out of bed, as you can probably tell. I'm sure I look a hot mess. Um, but I've got like a little under an hour until I have to start like making breakfast and getting ready for my day. So I'm gonna read for a bit. And I think I'm gonna start The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I've been reading a different book at night uh, the same one that I showed you from earlier when I was going into the bath. I've been reading Abdication by Kelly Bean, who is a friend of mine. Um, but I think I'm going to keep that one for at night and then start reading this one for the most part. I've heard nothing but great things, so let's see what happens. So I managed to read the beginning of Evelyn Hugo. Um, I am like 32 pages in. I am definitely intrigued. I just got to like Monique, our main character, finally meeting Evelyn Hugo. And Evelyn seems like a very interesting character. Um, so far the only thing that I'm not liking is that the chapters aren't labeled. <laughs> uh, but like they there's still like a page break but they're just not labeled and I just I like having like a number but that's that's just me like I said I am enjoying it so far there are um, sections in it that are done like little news articles and that's kind of cool like the very first um very first bit in it is like a little news article and news articles kind of break up some of the chapters in between so that's kind of cool um but yeah I'm really liking this I have a feeling this is going to be a new favorite by the time I'm done I know it sounds weird to say that like 32 pages in but like you like what you like so it is 11 o'clock at night and I discovered earlier tonight that on Monday, today is Wednesday, on Monday I get to meet the author of my childhood favorite book. And I get to work with him a little bit. So I'm putting Evelyn Hugo aside for like a day or two to reread that book. It's Grand as Crown by Lee Edward Fody. And my mom went to school with him and bought me this book, which was his debut novel, when I was eight. And this is my old beat-up copy that he signed in 2003. Um, I have a newer copy that he signed with, like, how he actually signs books now. And that one stays pretty on my shelf, but this is the one I reread. And, um, I love this book. It's like, it's like a hug. A nice warm familiar hug. I don't know how far I'm gonna get into it. I did start it earlier while I was in the bath and I got to page 31 out of 218 and that took me like 20 minutes. Um, I have like half an hour to an hour that I can read so I can probably get close to halfway through which is kind of insane. But hey, the faster I can finish this one the faster I can get back to Evelyn Hugo. So. I know how it comes.
Good morning. So I did not update you last night because my battery died. Uh, but I got to page 76 of Cranvis Crown. Uh, so I am almost halfway through it already, which is great. Um, my boss just texted me and I'm working in the office today instead of in the main building. So she has some research she needs me to do and stuff, but I'm going to be able to bring you along to do some vlogging, which is cool. And I will probably have some time to read. Let's do this. Hi guys, it's the next morning. I didn't, as you can tell, I didn't film at work and I didn't film last night because I've left my camera in my bag. But I've got my cat and he wants his morning snuggles. And I did read yesterday. Where did I put it? There it is. I read almost all of Cranvis Crown. I have like 20 pages left and I was gonna finish it last night but I could not keep my eyes open, so. <laughs> my cat is very talkative um I'm gonna finish that this morning and I got book mail yesterday which was exciting but there was a problem so I ordered two books because Chapters was having a like spend $30 and get 10 times the plum points so I bought Wild, Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore which is so pretty. And then I bought uh, Blanca and Roja, but I don't know if you can see this very well on camera. It came super damaged, and my box looked like it had either been opened or um, like just not packed properly. So I emailed Indigo Chapters and told them, and within an hour they had a new copy on its way. So I will have a new pretty copy of Blanc and Rowe very soon. But anyway, I'm gonna read those last 20 pages and I'll get back to you. Oh, look at him. He's such a good boy. Done! So I finished Grandest Crown. It was amazing as always. If you can't tell by how beat up this book is, I have reread it a lot and I love it. Um, five out of five stars. Perfect way to, to finish off the week and to start my day. Now that it's over, I don't know if I'm gonna dive back into Evelyn Hugo right away. Or if I'm gonna go back to abdication on my co or on my Kobo, on my Kindle, and try to finish that. But I'll figure it out. And that is probably going to be it for this vlog, because I think I wanna I wanna upload these on Fridays. So I think I'm gonna edit this for a bit. Well, goodbye. See you next week.